Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm Ashley Martella, and we're very happy to be joined by political consultant and commentator Roger Stone. Roger, welcome back to Newsmax. Great to be with you. Rush Limbaugh recently unloaded on Republican National Committee Chairman Michael Steele in response to Steele calling Rush an entertainer and branding his statement that he hopes Obama fails with his socialist policies incendiary and ugly. Now, Rush pretty much cleaned Steele's clock in response. He claims Steele is off to a shaky start. Now, Roger, in one of your latest postings on Stone Zone, you refer to Steele's nonchalant, although I think you used the word insouciant, hip-hop tone and swagger. You explain that, please. Sure. I, I was uh, objecting to the fact that uh, Chairman Steele seeks to write Senators Specter and Snow and Collins out of the Republican Party and doing so in a very flippant way, saying, well, baby, I'm open to uh, withholding party funds to their reelections. You do not strengthen the Republican Party by making it smaller and more narrow. I happen to disagree with the three senators vote on the, on the stimulus package. It was a pork fest. It was wild spending. On the other hand, you don't throw people out of the party because of one vote. Uh, senators Collins and uh, Snow vote with Senate Republicans about 70 percent of the time, particularly on fiscal matters. Senator Specter votes with the Senate Republicans 60 to 65 percent of the time. Democrats replacing them would vote with us on nothing, on zero. Uh, so I, I think that it is not the national chairman's job to uh, read people out of the party. It's his job to bring people into the party. And I would remind you of Ronald Reagan's 11th commandment, thou shalt not speak ill of thy brother Republican. You know, Roger, it's still the same. There are an awful lot of Republicans upset with Senators Collins, Snow, and Specter because without their vote, this pork-laden stimulus bill never would have passed. I don't agree with their vote, uh, and I wrote against it, uh, against the entire stimulus bill at Stone Zone. But at the same time, there are other votes that will be important. We have a budget vote coming up. We have a union card check vote coming up. All three of those senators are undecided on those issues and therefore still available to us. I, I think that it is a mistake for the party to eject someone or withhold uh, funds for their reelection because of one vote, albeit an important one. Should you have just said instead that he's very disappointed by the votes of these three and, and uh, let it go with that? I, I think that the national chairman's role is to unite the party and to mediate between the factions. It is not to, to write people out of the party and make the party more narrow-based. So I think that Mr. Steele misunderstands his role as national chairman. He is the chairman of all Republicans, regardless of stripe. Uh, I'm not happy with these senators' vote, but I'm not ready to write them out of the party because of one vote. You also defend Florida Governor Charlie Crist for campaigning with Obama in favor of a so-called stimulus bill. Should a Republican governor be campaigning with a liberal Democrat to push a spending bill laden with pork as much as this one was? Well, the state of Florida is broke. Charlie Crist was elected to balance the state budget. He's not a federal legislator. It would be virtually irresponsible to turn down the hundreds of millions of dollars that this bill will bring Florida. Governor Crist has a narrow focus, balancing the Florida budget and trying to bring prosperity back to Florida. Uh, so I don't think, again, that you, that you strengthen the party by writing Governor Schwarzenegger, Governor Crist, two of the most popular Republican governors, both big vote getters, out of the party because of one vote, even though it's an important one, or in this case, one issue. Uh, again, I think that both of them are good Republicans who are with us most of the time. We're not going to succeed as a majority party by making ourselves smaller. Some analysts say Republicans lost power in both chambers because they did not adhere to Republican principles. One of those principles certainly is fiscal constraint and restraint. This stimulus bill has none of that. So how do you reconcile it? Well, who's a bigger spender, George W. Bush, uh, who spent us into oblivion? And let's face it, when we had the White House in both houses, our record on spending was not very good. So I agree with those who say, we need to get back to basics, but I think we need to sell the basics in a more inclusive and more persuasive way. Uh, yes, at the end of the day, I think sticking to, to our conservative principles on terrorism, on national defense, on taxes and spending is what will bring the party back, but one needs to sell those in a more positive way as opposed to just being against. Being against Obama, given the track record of eight years of Republican presidency that drove our economy into the sewer, uh, is, is a pretty tough sell. Okay, let's go back to Chris for a moment. Mill Martinez's seat about to be up in 2010. Do you think uh, Charlie Chris might run for that? I think in the end he will not run for it. I think that, that the Florida voters 
elected Charlie Crist to cut property taxes and to lower insurance rates. Uh, while he's working hard on both, he's not achieved either one. And therefore, I think voters will want him to stay on the job he has now and finish it. On paper, he'd be a very strong Senate candidate. But in reality, I think most Florida voters will want him to remain as governor and finish the job that he was elected to do. Getting back to Steele for one moment, do you think his efforts to attract more minority voters to the Republican Party will work? Will they succeed? Uh, only if it, is, if it is not just window dressing. It's fine to say we want more African American votes, we want more Hispanic votes, uh, we want more Asian votes. That's all great, but you have to win those votes. And you do not win those votes by being intolerant. I think we have to recognize that President Obama is still very popular among many of the voters that he's trying to get. And therefore, an unwillingness to work towards some bipartisan consensus on some issues is counterproductive. So it has to be more than window dressing. It has to be a real appeal to those voters based on the fact that we offer a better alternative. I don't think you have to worry about the Obama administration. I think this is the wrong fiscal prescription. And when the economy does not improve on the basis of the stimulus bill, and I don't think it will personally, then I think the Republican Party will get a whole second look. If you could look in a crystal ball for a second, what do you think is ahead for Michael Steele? Well, I know there's a number of news organizations pouring over his U.S. Senate uh, campaign finance reports. There was a Washington Post story regarding payments to his sister for professional services. Uh, I think that the long knives in Washington in many ways are out for him. I think, frankly, some of those he defeated in the Republican National Chairman's Contest, particularly some of the Bush supporters, are unhappy with his chairmanship. So I think the future is fraught with danger for Chairman Steele. Roger, considering who you are and where you've been, just wondered personally if you got a chuckle that Obama appointed Timothy Geithner as head of Treasury, which of course controls the IRS, when in fact Geithner was a tax delinquent four times over. Unbelievable that you have you have the number of uh, of uh, appointees in this administration who haven't paid their taxes. That's the elitist arrogance of Washington. That these rules are for little people, the taxpayers. They're not for us. Uh, I think it's it's fairly outrageous. But the fact that Geithner, in the essence, head of the IRS, doesn't that make it even more egregious? What well, does that say to the average person who works hard and, and, and is diligent about paying their taxes? So when the IRS calls me about my tax bill, I'll point out that he didn't pay. Think it'll work? I doubt it. <laughs> Roger Stone. His website is Stone Zone. Always a pleasure. Great job. Thanks. Great to be with you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.